Welcome everybody and happy Mother's Day to all mothers. Today is a beautiful day and a little sad for me as well as for others who have lost their mother. Today I'm going to share with you a Mother's Day tribute. So just sit back and relax and enjoy. And please don't forget before you leave, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it if you like, and double tap your bell so that you will be notified of all my videos. And leave me a comment down below and I welcome you to the channel. You guys have a blessed day, have a wonderful day, and I thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for all your love, your prayers, and your support. A Mother's Day Tribute Dear Mommy, words cannot express how much I love you. I love you with every breath I take. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for loving me, raising me. I thank you for nurturing me, protecting, guiding, teaching, caring, and even whipping my butt when I needed it. To some, it would be considered child abuse. To me, it is doing what the Bible says to do. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. The Bible also says, Do not withhold correction from a child, for if you beat him with a rod, he will not die. Proverbs 23, 13. So then I thank you, Mommy. I thank you for the few whippings that I did get. They have taught me and helped me to become the woman of God that I am today. A good mother provides for her children with unconditional love and support. She accepts her children for who they are. You're not just a mother. You're the best mother in the world to me. You have been a wonderful grandmother to my children, wonderful mother-in-law to my husband, wonderful daughter, sister, aunt, friend, etc., etc. Thank you for praying for me and being there with me when I had breast cancer. You have shown and exhibited what a caring and unselfish helpful person you are taking care of others even when it was hard to do especially family and putting the needs of others before yours you're a godly woman a godly mother prays and reads the word of God she is a mother who has learned to trust God for every need a godly mother is generous she is obedient to God. A mother who's godly is forgiving. A godly mother has an attitude of persistence. And you are all of that and more. The morning of February 23rd, 2024, when I got the call, that you were close to leaving this earth. I jumped out of bed, got in the car, and I told my husband, I have to go. And I drove to where you were living. And before I got to the destination, I got another call that you had died at 4.48 a.m. Just three days before my birthday. The pain of losing you is still great. It feels like a thousand knives cutting me. I miss you, Mommy. Sometimes I feel like I can't go on without you, but I know I will. I miss you. I miss talking to you. There are so many times when I want to call you, 
when I need to talk to you and share things with you and get your guidance. I still need it. No matter how old I am, I need you. And I say to myself, who's going to be my mother now? I don't have a mother anymore to love on and to touch and feel your love and your and your hugs. I miss those things. This pain hurts so bad. I never knew that you were going to leave, die so soon. I mean, you weren't supposed to. I don't know if you gave up. Because my daughter said to me, she says, I don't understand. She didn't want to die. And I told her, I know, but we don't know after the fact. Only God knows. God knows what's best. And God knows I still need you. I need you. I just feel so lost. Ah. Uh. While this is Mother's Day, this happens to be your birthday, Mommy. So happy, happy, blessed, heavenly birthday. There is still much, much more I could say. I honor you today. You deserve every bit of it. So I thank you. I thank you for everything that you have done for me. Everything that you have been to me. I do not take it for granted. I do have something to look forward to one day because I know that I'm going to see you again. I'm going to see you again up in heaven. I look forward to that day with great anticipation. I need you, Mommy, and I miss you so much. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I love you. Happy Mother's Day and happy birthday. Love your daughter, Liz. I want to encourage you, those of you who are listening, if you have aught or any unforgiveness towards your mother or your father, but I'm speaking of mothers today, forgive them. Forgive them. Who are you to judge? There's not a mother out there that is perfect. We all make mistakes. We should learn from them. My mother made some mistakes, so what? 
So have I. Don't hold unforgiveness towards your mother for something you feel or really feel that she has done towards you. Don't hold unforgiveness in your heart because when you do you you're not hurting your mother you're hurting well you do hurt her but you're mostly hurting yourself you can't live in peace because you got these feelings of unforgiveness all these painful feelings all of these anger feelings deep down inside and I guess the pain is so great where you feel like you just can't let it go well I encourage you today If you need to get some help, get counseling. Get to a church that teaches the uncompromising word of God. Learn about the things of God. Learn about forgiveness. Learn about healing, emotional. Get healing for your emotions. Forgive. Because when it's all done... When that mother takes the last breath, will it really be, will it really make sense to you? You will still hold those feelings inside you for what? The life is gone. So I encourage you, let it go now. Forgive now. Because if you don't forgive, God cannot forgive you. I love you, Mommy.